Hey everyone, uh, first things first, I want to talk about the Inacta University. We have decided to have that online, the next session uh, that's coming up. Uh, it's manufacturing. That means it's not in classroom training. You're actually going to be logging on to uh, a website of ours where the training is going to be held uh, by an instructor. It's an intense training. It's three days. Uh, but you, it doesn't matter where you are in the world, and I know that a lot of you that are watching the Coffee Mug videos come from all over. So if you want to partake in this, uh, go to the link below and check it out. Other than that, uh, we get into standard costing. Uh, just keep going on costing, right? I promised you I would, and here it is. So basically we have a standard uh, coffee mug, and uh, the cost was set at five dollars and now what happens if you change that cost so all of the entries that are coming in the purchases are coming in are at five dollars and if i go ahead and i go to the card and i change it and i say it's at four dollars what happens to the existing entries there do they change to four dollars so they don't they stay at whatever cost uh, the card was when the product was received and um, and then when you actually change the cost to $4, um, new entries that get posted in, they get posted at the new cost. And so, and there's various different ways to actually change the cost. There's something called a standard cost worksheet. I'm not gonna get into that in the screen share, uh, but that basically allows you to change the cost with the bill of material and actually roll that up. Um, and so also what happens, let's say if you have a sales order, you know, with the standard coffee mug on there uh, for whatever, one piece, uh, quantity one, and the price or the cost, the unit cost is $5. And that was created when the cost was $5. Now, if I go into the cards and change the cost to $4, does the sales order created here, does that change? This order has not been posted. And the answer to that is no, it stays. So the sales order is a snapshot of the unit cost at the time uh, when that sales order line was created. So captured from the card. And, and this is actually a big thing because um, the sales order might be very old, uh, the sales line is very old, and let's say the cost might have been changed multiple times, and the salesperson doesn't realize that maybe the profit is way off on what the you know what it should be. But anyways, um, those are important facts. This actually this comment on on this costing piece is the same problem for our costing method methods, not only the standard cost. All right, cool, let's take a look at the system. Okay, so let's take a look at items and get into the standard coffee mug. Um, just want to emphasize the um, thing that I just went over on the blackboard. If I go here into the standard coffee mug, um, the costing, obviously set up a standard, can be changed. So I can change it from four here to five. And it basically gives me this warning talking about the open entries. And if I just say yes, now the cost is changed. Now I did post an entry uh, at a different cost. And I'm just gonna take a look at that here. So now I have two purchase entries. I posted first the one for five and uh, 10 items. So I get $50 in. Then I changed the uh, cost to $4 and posted 10 and I get that for $40. So now I have two costs on that item because I manually changed the cost. So basically you are steering the cost. You go in there, you change the cost of the item and the cost affects all new purchases. So how does it work when I'm selling? Let's take a look at that as well. So if I go in here and go into our sales order and take a look at that. I'm uh, just gonna put the standard coffee mug onto a sales order uh, and pick a 
up here, a datum, and the number is standard coffee mug out of the main location. So you can see here that the cost is coming at five because I just changed it back to five. So, uh, and if I say I want to sell 15, which is going to be 10 at five and 10 at four, then technically the unit cost here is, well, sort of incorrect. Uh, it was an estimate of the unit cost at the time or the standard cost that was entered at the time. So let's say if I go out here and into that item card again, and I go ahead and change this to 10. It gives me this. This is talking about those sales orders that are sitting out there, basically. So if I say yes, I want to change it. Now I go back into my sales order. Oops. Um, nope, I accidentally hit a key here. All right, so if we go out and we go back into sales orders and take a look at that last sales order here. Um, it might have been this one or the other one. Let's see, nope, not that one. Those are the chairs, <laughs> right? Um, so here we have 15. You see that the cost is still five on this order. So I changed it to 15 and this order hasn't been shipped or anything and it's still keeping the old cost. This is this has always been like this with NAV. The cost on the sales order does not update automatically. And there's a warning there when you change it on the card. So, so that's what that applies to, basically. But with standard cost, and this actually applies to everything. When you have FIFO, it grabs the FIFO cost at the time of the creation of the order. Um, and then if FIFO cost changes, uh, it's not updated on the order. Now it's more dramatic here because you can basically go in here and change the cost yourself and the orders are not changed. Um, and that's pretty much how standard cost works as far as changing the cost on standard cost.